Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lisa and today I am setting up myself for the month of April. So I am utilizing the Budget Moms Budget by Paycheck Workbook. I'm also budgeting out of a Clever Fox dotted notebook. So uh, this is just a more detailed budgeting system whereas the Clever Fox uh, budgeting book has just the basics. So um, it's a, a simpler way for me to do my budget, but I really want to um, transfer everything that's in here into my budget, my paycheck workbook, but I really want to utilize the expense trackers and look at my spending from month to month and the budget my paycheck workbook is going to help me do that so don't worry i'm still going to do my budget in the clever fox book but get um you know do a deeper dive into my finances using the budget mom's budget by paycheck workbook so i posted a video where i laid down all of these stickers these stickers were sent to me by Van Lilies, and I will have her shop linked down below. It kind of like reignited my excitement for the Budget Moms Budget by Paycheck Workbook. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, because I don't, I just got paid on Friday, but today's the first, and I was sitting here thinking um, before I decided to film, how how can I really get like a month's worth of information? And I thought, you know, I'm just gonna go through my wallet and we're gonna see how much money I'm starting with and we're gonna go from there. So the first uh, envelope I have is Walmart. <coughs> Excuse me. And let's see how much I have left in Walmart. Ooh, that was a dime flying over all over the place and some fuzzies. Okay, so I have a $20 bill. And then I have a $5 bill, which I don't, I don't spend my fives. I did go to Walmart and I spent a total of $24.55 on the 30th. I only got a, a couple of things, uh, fajita, tortillas. I got a loaf of bread, a few creamers, salad mix, um, some whipped cream cheese, and some orange juice. That was it. So how many items is that? Does it say? Not many. Two, four, six, yeah, eight items for $25. So that's what I've spent so far. And so that's Walmart. Gas for my car. I still have a half a tank of gas and I have $20 still in my wallet. So, you know what, Lisa, you're not doing this right. <laughs> okay, let's start adding this up. So, 20 for groceries left, 20 for gas left. And then pet food, this should also have 20. And it does. Health should also have 20. Let's see, two, 20. And then another 20 for this. I still, I don't need to get the prescription filled that's ready for pickup. Um, so I'll we'll just have them put it back on the shelf for now. And then spending has five, six, seven, eight, and then my daughter contributed fifty dollars to cleaning because the gals were going to come 
on Wednesday and do a deep cleaning, and that's $150. So I'm starting the first of the month with $238. Um, I have $0 in my checking account. I have nothing in there. So let me put this aside because I am going to put, well, actually, let's just do this now. I really like the big acrylic box but I feel like it's going to be really hard to get it in camera and stuff it. So we're just gonna keep using this one for now. So there's 25, 35 cents and then a $5 bill. I'm not going to put my um, spending money in here because on Friday, I am going to buy my lottery ticket with it. I don't know what happened, but when I went to look at the balance of my Jack Pocket account, <laughs> I only have, um, I think, $8 in there, and I, st I need $12 worth of tickets on Friday. That's what my coworkers and I do every Friday and Saturday. We play the Powerball and the Mega Millions, and we each buy three tickets at $2 a pop. So, there's that. So I'm going to, oh, my daughter is going to, her money's going to be deposited today as well, which is 600. I don't want to forget that. So really we're starting out, we're starting out the first with 838. So let's go to our expense tracker and I'm going to, this is cash, because I don't keep any money in my checking account. Maybe some people do, and that makes you comfortable, but for me, I, I really, um, I like to zero it out. And so we're gonna say cash and checking. For this one and we're starting out with eight hundred and thirty eight dollars on the first so today is April the first and I will be paying my rent today Is that right? Uh, well, Lisa, you ding dong. That's really not all the money. Hang on. I don't want to include my sinking funds, but I do need to include the bills. So that's really not everything. So I have $400 in rent. One two, three, 350, 400. I need to add that because I need to be able to write down that I paid my rent. And then the internet, this should have $8. Five, six, seven, eight, and it does. The electric, because what's going to end up happening when the electric bill is due, I am going to deposit the money into the account, into my checking account, pay the bill, and then they'll draft it. So, and I do that with my electric and with the internet bill. Okay, so... In cash, I have twelve ninety six. Twelve ninety six. So the withdraw amount today is going to be eight hundred. 
and that is going to leave me with a total of four hundred and ninety six dollars for um, the rest of the bills. Now I will be adding cash to my envelopes next week. So I do have that. And then once I stuff next week's cash envelopes that are going to be for bills and what I keep in my wallet, then I'm going to add it to the tracker since that's money that is available for me to spend. And let's go over here to the first budget tracker. And let's see how many paydays. There's two paydays in the month of April, plus I have YouTube income, and I also have the $600 my daughter is going to give me today. So this first tracker let's use for money my daughter is going to give me. And for YouTube later on in the month. But for right now, we're going to budget $600 for my daughter and zero for YouTube. So that's a total of $600. And okay, so the way that I will spend the $600 is between rent, the electric bill, and the internet bill. So this is all on the first and we'll budget $400 for rent, 100 towards electric and 100 to go towards the internet bill. And that's a total of $600. Now, my YouTube income, when I was looking at my analytics, I'm over $1,000, but it hasn't, it hasn't included anything earned, I think, yesterday. And so um, I'm waiting for that final number before um, I put in the total for YouTube. And so I guess, I, you know, I'm going to erase this because I'm going to go to the bank and I am going to take out the $600. We're gonna stuff it. Um, it's only four o'clock in the morning right now, so um, I don't have it right this moment, but I will go ahead and get the cash. By the time I have the cash and I come back to film the uh, stuffing, I will know how much my income is going to be for um, what is this April the 21st for YouTube so I'll I'll know that by then and then we'll fill that out and do the rest of the budget so I'll see you guys back here a little bit later today hello friends it is the next day and I did not go to the bank and get cash I did pay my rent though I just stole from all of my envelopes <laughs> so all the hundreds I had for my sinking funds I took all those out to pay my rent and um I'll, when I go to the bank, I'll just replenish my envelopes. Um, I'll do that today, but uh, I won't do a, a stuffing because I'm not going to be stuffing um, anything except for the internet and the electric bill. And that uh, that's not much. So any hoodles. I did want to jump back on here, though, because I know what my YouTube income is going to be for... Uh, what it would this be? April 21st. It finally uh, reset. So uh, my total YouTube income is going to be $1,056.74, which is amazing. Thank you guys so much. Um, you know, a couple of things I 
I have some subscribers that religiously watch my videos and you know who you are. I know who you are. You comment all the time. Um, and I appreciate you guys so much. And, uh, I also have been consistently uploading too, which has really made a difference. Um, I've been uploading six days a week and I think I missed one, one day this last month, maybe two, but uh, definitely I'm seeing that consistency is also paying off in terms of um, how much I'm making uh, uh, on my YouTube channel, which is awesome because um, it is, you know, it is going to help me reach my financial goals. So that's that. So thank you guys so much. So that actually makes my total income for my extra money, uh, $1,656.74. So we went over this earlier in the video, 400 to rent, 100 to electric, 100 to the internet. Um, I am gonna buy one of these kits for the, I have one for May, but I want to get a kit for June. And without any discounts, which um, Van Lily sticker did stickers did give me a discount code for you guys, so um, you can get fifteen percent off. But without any discounts, it's thirty three sixty seven. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and budget. It may be a little bit less, but that's with taxes and all that good stuff. So now I want to jump to P.O. Box because I'm going to come back and do house savings and, and taxes last. Um, in May, let me flip it on the 31st, and I want to go ahead and set that money aside now. Um, so what I'm going to do, you can pay it up to 30 days in advance. So um, at the end of the month of April, I can, I can pay it. So $182.00 for P.O. Box. So now I do want to see how much I need to set aside in taxes. So one, whoops, 1056.74. And I think I'm going to set aside 25% in taxes. I think that's what I did before. So that's two, six, essentially $265. So that's what I'm going to set aside for taxes. And I did, I'm going to do so much better this year. <laughs> I didn't do good last year uh, setting aside taxes. I didn't do it. And so I ended up using my bonus money, <coughs> oh, excuse me, to cover the taxes that I owed. And I don't want to do that again this year. And so I'm going to be good about setting aside taxes. I have a separate bucket in my Ally Savings account for taxes. So I'm going to do that. Um, and, you know, if I can consistently make about $1,000 a month and taxes are around 200 or so, I may even ask my employer to withhold an extra $100 uh, from my paycheck uh, to cover that amount. I don't know, maybe. It was just a thought. So now let's see how much is going towards house savings. So we have 600 plus 150, oh yeah, 156.74. I don't know what I'm doing. I did, it's like 6.30 in the morning, and I just woke up about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago. Uh, okay, so uh, 1656.74 minus 400 minus 200 minus 33.67 minus 265 minus 182. So we're going to save $576.07 towards house savings, which is awesome. So $576.07. And what I did uh, this paycheck and what I'll also do when 
you know, YouTube um, pays out on the 21st of April. I, I transferred, I'm transferring to savings first. I'm getting it out of my account. It's going into the right bucket. And that way, um, you know, out of sight, out of mind. And then um, the only thing, you know, I'll probably create an envelope for, um, I'll also do taxes, stick that in savings, but I'll create an envelope for PO box. So I have that handy. That way I don't forget what that um, money is for and I'll go ahead and order my stickers and we'll be good to go. So I think that is everything for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for supporting my channel and I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you're at. Bye.